Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by specific latent heat. You should then be able to calculate the energy change taking place when a substance changes state. Now I need to be honest with you, some of this is pretty tricky. You might need to watch this video a couple of times to get the idea. In the last video, we looked at heating graphs such as this one. We saw that when we heat a substance, we increase the temperature as we increase the energy of the particles. However, when the substance changes state, for example melts, the temperature stops increasing and it stays constant. That's because now the energy we're putting in is weakening or breaking the forces of attraction between the particles. Scientists call the energy needed for a substance to change state the latent heat, and we're looking at that in this video. So here's a key definition. The specific latent heat of a substance is the amount of energy required to change the state of one kilogram of the substance with no change in temperature. I'm showing you here a block of ice. Now imagine that I wanted to melt one kilogram of ice. How much energy would that take? Well, scientists have worked this out. It takes 334,000 joules of energy to melt one kilogram of ice. Scientists call this energy the specific latent heat of fusion. So this is the energy required to change one kilogram of a substance from a solid to a liquid with no change in temperature. Now, what if we wanted to change a substance from a liquid to a gas, in other words, boil it? How much energy would that take? Well, scientists call this the specific latent heat of vaporization. And here's the definition. The specific latent heat of vaporization is the energy required to change one kilogram of a substance from a liquid to a vapor with no change in temperature. Now, we can use the idea of specific latent heat to calculate the energy change when a change of state takes place. We use this equation. The energy for a change of state in joules equals the mass in kilograms multiplied by the specific latent heat. And you will be given this equation in the exam. You'll also be given any values for specific latent heat that you need. Here's a triangle for this equation, but remember that you're not given triangles like this in the exam. OK, so here's a question for you. Calculate the energy required to convert 0.5 kilograms of ice to liquid water. And the specific latent heat of fusion of water is 334,000 joules per kilogram. Pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, so the energy for a change of state equals the mass multiplied by the specific latent heat. In this case, the mass is 0.5 kilograms, and the specific latent heat of fusion of water is 334,000 joules per kilogram. Multiplying these numbers gives us an energy of 167,000 joules. Here's another question for you. Calculate the energy required to convert 0.15 kilograms of ethanol from a liquid to a vapor. And the specific latent heat of vaporization of ethanol is 846,000 joules per kilogram. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, so the energy for a change of state is the mass multiplied by the specific latent heat. The mass of ethanol is 0.15 kilograms, and the specific latent heat of vaporization of ethanol is 846,000 joules per kilogram. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us an energy of 126,900 joules. Remember that you'll find plenty of questions on specific latent heat in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by specific latent heat. You should then be able to calculate the energy change taking place when a substance changes state.